What's going on, guys? This is Scope and Shot here with Franchise Mode, episode number 11 for the Cubs. We're here at the offseason, and we don't have many free agents. We have like seven, three, six, seven. So, yeah, I already got the con contracts done for them. Biggest ones is uh, these three right here, honestly. Well, Matt Harvey, too. He's going to be pretty good. So, I got everyone uh, contracts offered. He's ar got arbitration, so we're just going to see if they accept. I'm going to check if I need any coaches real quick because I always forget about coaches. Don't think I do. Cool. Alright, so we'll just simulate. Uh, where am I at? Right here. Uh, Ray Casey. Catcher. Brett Jackson. Now I'm hoping that, w that with these, uh, the, the top two guys that we have, I'm hoping that with those guys we can maybe uh, trade them for like a Carlos Gonzalez type person. Um, I don't know who else. And we don't have that much money left, so. Be interesting. So we're gonna have to actually get rid of someone here soon, hopefully via a trade, which actually we're gonna take a look at right now. I think they want other like prospects, maybe. Do you have a? I can get rid of him. Uh. He's in his final year too. I, don't, I really don't want to give up Halixon though. But let's see, 14 million a year, eight. Still at about eight, and then we get 12. So actually, we lose two million dollars in this. So <coughs> I'm gonna see who's um, available right now. Who's the big? All right, Justin Upton. I bet he want. I'm gonna guess like 16 million. 10 million, alright, so, I'd rather get him than, uh, you know, let's see, if I can trade away Halixon for some prospects, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too bad, well, he had a really good year last year, though, that's the thing, uh, so, he might have some prospects, the Rays always have something decent down here and I'm, I don't think they have any today oh well um hmm we definitely need some relievers that's that's the first thing and Daniel Bard he wants oh two million uh uh for baiting up I want some good relievers too because I lost my Top two or three relievers to retirement this year. Um, yeah, I guess Gordelani, maybe. Clippard. You know, Clippard sucks for this year in real life, but I don't care. Um, Alright, so we'll go simulate, see if we get anyone. Do a little bit different. We'll, we'll increase a little bit too, so yeah, it's, it's decent. Gorzolani, I don't know, I don't think so. Do one year for this guy. One year 760. Oh yeah, look at that. Interest. Nacho Willis. Alright. Man, I, I wish I could get Justin Upton, man. I really do. But I don't think that's going to be happening. Now he's right in his prime at 28. But even though I think he starts at the game at 24 years old, I and mean, that's how old he is, and he's already in his prime. But yeah, we need to clear some money, so let's figure out a way to do this. Who's making a lot of money? Castro is. Let's let's find a new shortstop. Damn, 24 million a year. Jeez. Maybe I'll just take a third baseman and move him. Jerkson profile. 
the Hamilton. And, ooh, too low? Oh my god, he makes a ton of money. I want D Gordon, but I guess I don't want to get rid of him. Alright, we'll try third base real quick. See if that'll do anything. <laughs> Mark Trumbo. Oh man. What are we putting like Duffy? Oh. Alright. Alright, what about second base? Oh, there you go. Yeah, let's get Mark Jumbo. I don't know if I want to do this actually. Um, yeah, he's got three years, so. Uh, he'd be a really good bat in the lineup. He'd give us some big power. Even though, I mean. Castro, you know, it costs a lot of money. Let's see if we can pick anyone off, anyone else off though. That'd be a nice bench player right there. Let's see if actually Mike Mike Trout would come. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. So, all right, so we'll give him Castro and Sean Rodriguez for him. Um, yeah, I'll just take these tourists too. And then, let them take that. So that's going to clear up about 8 million. Yay. Now let's make another big move. Let's try to get Carlos Gonzalez. Well, wait, how much money do I have left? Just up to. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm going to do this and see if they take it. Or see if he takes it. If he does, we're going to be broke, so I don't care. Aww. Oh, I thought he accepted for a second. I was like, oh, shit. So I guess now we can get back. Uh, they take him. Oh, oh there he is. I saw him. Do 3.4 and a player option. <sighs> Stubborn. And uh, we could do Daniel Bard. This one, we'll do it 1 1.8 for two years. Yeah, that's right. I need a whole bunch of new relievers, man. Chase Outley, he's 37. Uh, not many good position players in this one. Alright, so we'll do that, and then let's look at the, uh, Carlos Gonzalez type stuff. Sorry, open Helixon. We'll give you Brett Jackson, I guess. And then we'll give you, um, we don't want to give up. I got a lot of third basemen, that's for sure. Now, I'm actually going to move Mike Old over to shortstop. Um... Jeez, come on, these are those are prospects right there. You don't want them? Alright, so let's let's put in uh Gio Vitella. And yeah, I guess the big thing is next year is that we're gonna be or in two years we're gonna have to get Brendan back. It's been really good for us. And then let's see if there's anything else we can pick up pick from them. I don't wanna give up Helixon honestly. But I do need a huge bat in my lineup. And, uh, I mean, 8 million a year is not that bad, but, uh, I don't know. For the Cubs, I got a lot of pitchers this year, so. Alright, so let's see if we get Carlos Gonzalez. We should. That's going to be a big, yep, there it is. And then, how much money do we have left? 11, so only lost like about a million. So we need Leonis. 
And then we'll end up, we'll probably try to, I'm probably going to try to trade him away as, as well for some relievers. Assuming he freaking signs with us. But uh, I'm trying to keep this episode sort of uh, down in the time length because all of these episodes always end up going like 20 minutes long. And I understand that you guys probably don't want to watch a, a video for that long. And I'm not getting any relievers right now. Give him his five years. Yeah, we got a completely new new lineup. Looks like this year, we got Trumbo, which is really good, and uh, no relievers this year. It looks like yeah, relievers look terrible right now. Jeez. Hmm. Go to the 26th. I don't really have anything I need to really look at, so. Now, this year, it's. I don't know if we're going to be making the playoffs, honestly. I didn't lose anyone. I always forget to check my 40 man roster. Now. I always seem to lose, like, some random guy. But, I don't think I did this year. Hey, there's Mike Ekstrom. Who do I want? I'll take this guy. What's he look like on our roster? Not bad. Alright, so that's decent. Kind of shores him up a little bit. Alright, 26 again. Past Christmas. Happy that I got $10 million to spend for next year. So, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. How come I never get any uh, trade offers during the off season? Oh yeah, we got the 1% increase. By the way, I forgot to show you guys that. Let's go to January 30th, and then let's see what's going on in February. Leonis wants to make some money. He and Matt Downs, that's good. And he got... Huh. They sided with him. You know, I, wow, they gave him $3 million, yet I gave him... I offered him $4.5 million. That's retarded. Oh, why did I simulate that far? Shit. I are going to make an offer that, bl that blows him away. Dude, 3.8. I want to sign him through his prime. We gave him one day to sign it. And he didn't, so. Just renew his contract. I think that's it. So, all right, real quickly though, we're gonna try to make a trade for some relievers. Cause uh, let's see, we got left field is pretty full. Uh, wait, all right, right here. Right field's looking pretty good. Center field's looking decent. But we're gonna move Desmond Jennings over to center. But Carlos Gonzalez over there in left. So this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a good lineup. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to try to get rid of Leonis. Let's go for some relievers, some good relievers. He's making $3 million a year, so we can take up a big reliever. I want two of them. <laughs> I'd like these two. Yeah, definitely. Who do they want? They want someone else. You guys want, I don't know, a catcher? No, not selling though. I'm gonna keep on keep up with him. Uh 
Felipe Cruz, third baseman, anyone? Really? Being stubborn, I see. Alright, so we'll. Hmm. Who do I want to get rid of? Fine, I'll give you a reliever. Give you, uh. Oh my god. I hate these guys. I guess we'll just get rid of Sal Lingo then. I don't want to, though. Anything else besides him? <laughs> now we'll just try someone else, though. Looks good. 34 years old, 31. Alright, whatever. Alright, cool. So we're gonna end spring training real quick. Check out the lineup. Well, first I gotta move over. Move Jennings into center. Oh, that's looking awesome. I love this lineup. Alright, so we got Carlos sitting third. Jennings at leadoff. Uh, oh, Mark Michael's gotta go over to shortstop. So put in, uh, oh, that's why. Alright, no, no, no. Like that. And we'll put shortstop, put in, uh, Michael. And then same thing over here, Mike Olt, no, shortstop, Mike Olt. Let's see. Oh man, that's looking good. That is looking awesome. I'm liking this lineup. This meat of this order right here, that's going to be tough to go through. What's he got? Oh man, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to like this a lot. So, alright. So that's it for this episode, and, and I don't know. I didn't really keep it under 20, so I sort of did. Uh, it's still a pretty long episode, though. But thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys later. You guys have a nice day.